what again? <laughs> oh hell no. That is so messed up. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Happy New Year to you. Today we are watching Pulp Fiction. It kind of looks like an action movie. Samuel L. Jackson is in it. I really love Samuel L. Jackson. Also Bruce Willis is in it. I just finished watching The Sixth Sense, which was a magical performance from Bruce Willis. By the way, talking about him, let's say a prayer for Bruce Willis and his family. They're going through some stuff right now, so just keep them in your prayers. And uh, yeah, let's check out this movie. Thank you all for clicking on the video. My Patreons, I appreciate appreciate you guys you guys know what it is you guys make this possible every single one of you watching thank you thank you thank you i look forward to this movie and also hearing what you guys have to say about it let's get it let's see what pulp fiction got to offer baby yeah, it's too risky i'm through never again too dangerous hmm. well, that's why i would say i'm always right what are they talking about taking the same risks when you rob a bank oh Take more of a risk banks are easier federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery banks are easier why should they give a fuck they robbed the bank with a telephone. You so rob they're bank? robbers. I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I'm just illustrating that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. So they've been ro robbing liquor stores. And you assume robbing a bank would be easier? Aye. <laughs> this place. You're going to rob the restaurants? Oh, boy. A coffee shop. What's wrong with that? Nobody ever robs restaurants. <laughs> Why not? You catch with their pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed. No one is expecting. expecting anyway. How much they could you even get from a coffee a shop? Hero factor in a place like this. Correct. A lot of people come to restaurants. A lot of wallets. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> They're really doing this, huh? I'm ready. Let's do it right now, right here. Come on. Right, right. now. I'll handle employees. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie out? I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And I'll execute every <laughs> That is such an intro. <laughs> oh god. I wonder how the rest of their robbery would go. I'm loving this because it's one of those movies where like I don't even know what to expect. I'm just here. Oh John Travolta is in this too. Shit. Okay. So tell me again about the ass. Look at them. If you get stopped by a cop in Amsterdam, it's illegal for them to search you. I mean, that's the right the cops in Amsterdam don't have. Oh, man. I'm going. That's all. I'm, I'm going to Amsterdam. No, baby. <laughs> you dig it the most. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man. They got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? That's they fair. They call it the uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. Shotguns? Oh, are they robbing a joint? How many up there? Three or four. I don't watch TV. Yeah, but you are aware that there's an invention called television, and on <laughs> this invention they show shows, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, the way they pick TV shows is they make one show. That show's called a pilot. Right. And they show that one show to the people who pick shows. And on the strength of that one show, they decide if they want to make more shows. I have been loving their banter between each, each other. You can tell that, like, they're good friends just their sarcasm and the way they joke with each other like i like that a lot but i can't get over how young they look like especially Samuel L. jackson like he looks what he looks like 30 or 40 here he looks so young that's wild uh, marcellus up good word around the campfire is it was on account of marcellus wallace's wife marcellus wallace i still don't know what they're doing here but it's gonna involve some guns so what he do no 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 Nothing that bad. Gave her a foot massage. Oh, so it was payback. That's it. Mm -hmm. Sent a couple of cats over to his place. They took him out on his patio, threw his ass over the balcony. He fell four stories. Jesus. Had a little garden down at the bottom. Since then, he kind of developed a speech impediment. Oh, he survived that? That's a damn shame. It was a foot massage. A foot massage is nothing. I give my mother a foot massage. Is it, is it as bad as eating her no. It's the same fucking ballpark. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not. It's the same ballpark. Ain't no fucking ballpark, neither. I feel like I'm going to be laughing throughout this movie because these are their conversations, bruh. It's like some of it is logical, but some of it is just like over the top. And they talk about the... <laughs> I love how seriously they talk about these things. 
even though they're not like crazy serious things. Like as a matter of fact, they talk about things as a matter of fact. But you know, touching his wife's feet and sticking your tongue in the holiest of holies ain't the same <laughs> ballpark. It ain't the same league. It ain't even it the same ain't. sport. Have you ever given a foot massage? <laughs> One can lead to the other Don't be though. Telling me about foot massages. <laughs> Would you give a guy a foot massage? He wants one. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of tired. I can use a foot massage myself. Exactly. He wanted one. Off. I'm getting a little pissed here. True. <laughs> Me. He better paralyze my ass because I can't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying That's a fact. But you saying a foot massage don't mean nothing. I'm saying it does. There's a sensuous thing going on with. The way they're going so deep it, into this you know, convo. And Antoine should have known better. The best way I can imagine, the best way I can like comprehend what they're trying to say is like intimacy comes differently to different people. A foot massage for some people might be like glorious, but for some others, a foot massage is just a foot massage. So they're both making sense, but I love how they're digging deep into that conversation. It's an interesting point. It is an Talk interesting point. Character. character. Hello? I like the characters you're What's already in. Again? You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. I thought so. McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? Uh, Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger. <laughs> Big That's Kahuna. That's Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You, you can tell the boys one? are sh scared. <laughs> That's tough. This is a tasty burger. You mind if I... Have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down. Go right ahead. You can tell the like, boys are scared. Man, he drank the whole thing. <laughs> and hit the spot. Won't you tell my man Vincent where you got the shit here at? It's over there. It's I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> Somewhere else, the goat, man. You were saying? It's in the cupboard. Uh oh. Are they here for a pickup? Oh, what is it? Drugs? Money? We happy? We happy? Yeah, we happy. What the heck is in there? We, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions? Yikes. Okay. Not, this is not a comedy. Finished. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? Bruh. What? What country are you from? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of? Is he English and what? What? English. What <laughs> do you speak? <laughs> and you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looked like. Yo, he's. Well, I, say what again? Say <laughs> what again? I dare you. I double dare you. I can say what one. Please like don't say one. what. <laughs> Does he look like a? What? <laughs> Does he look like a <laughs> Then why you try to <laughs> Yes, you did. Yo. <laughs> Y'all want to know what's crazy? Obviously, this movie is big in pop culture, so I've heard this before. Like, say what again? Say what? I double dare you. Say what one more time. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard that before so it's fun to actually see see it in context oh my god I'll be terrified as hell like mm -mm. he's not playing Pitt is not playing god Ezekiel 25 17 the path of the righteous man is beset for he is truly his brother's keeper and the oh, he's not surviving this lost and I will strike down upon thee with great and you will know my name is the Lord. God. I lay my vengeance upon thee. How many fights do you think you got in you anyway? I wonder what part Butch plays. Boxers don't have an old time stick. Is he getting paid to... It certainly appears so. To take a dive? Is he a fighter? Night of the fight, you may feel a slight sting. That's pride. Mm. Pride. You gonna say to yourself, Marcellus Wallace was right. Oh, he's Marcellus Wallace. In the fifth, 
your ass goes down. Hmm. He's getting paid to take a dive. In the fifth, my ass goes down. He's not gonna do it, is he? <laughs> what are they Big wearing? Man. Big man's right over there taking care of some business. So I'm guessing Wallace has an empire, and these are his workers. Yep, that's him. That's what I thought it was. It's a big man's wife. I'm gonna sit across from her, chew my food with my mouth closed, laugh at her f***ing jokes, and that's it. I smell trouble, man. I smell trouble. Because if one thing has been established, is do not mess with Mr. Wallace at all. So they wouldn't put it there if trouble ain't coming. Hi, Vincent. I'm getting dressed. The door's open. Come inside and make yourself a drink. Hey, I smell trouble, man. Small trouble. Hello. Oh, that's the lady on the cover. This is Jack Rabbit Slims. Oh, their table is the car. Interesting. I think it's like a wax museum with a pulse. Absolutely. Can I get you? Could you um, roll me one of those, cowboy? You can have this one, cowgirl. Thanks. Is that ganja? Oh yes, most definitely. The way she's looking at him, he gonna get in trouble with Mr. Wallace. I, he's gonna get in trouble, man. She's very amazed by him. Wallace said you just got back from Amsterdam. Now I'm definitely not gonna tell you because it's been built up too much. What a jip. Now I definitely sense some Lewis. chemistry between them. Five dollar milkshake. I mean, I'm guessing back then five dollar for a milkshake is is wild. Yeah, you think I can have a sip of that? I gotta know what a five dollar shake is. <laughs> for real, does it better taste He's like heaven? Dry. I don't have cooties. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth five dollars, huh? Damn, it's a pretty good milkshake. Told you. Yep, it's already game over. You can see it in the eyes. And of course, he didn't do what he said he was gonna do. He said he was just gonna go there, order his food, and be quiet, and just keep her company. But nah, you've been talking way more than her, my boy. <laughs> Again, I smell trouble. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> no one even moved a muscle. Like this happens every other day. The nineties were wild, huh? This doesn't sound like the usual mindless boring getting to know you chit chat. <laughs> there you it go. Sounds like you actually have something to say. Skip well, over all the BS. I do. Alright. <laughs> See, there's something about this movie that in my head while watching it, I'm just thinking it's like it's so dialogue heavy, but not in a bad way that like the dialogue like drives the scenes. That's really hard for me to like try to say anything or react to it because I'm just enjoying it because like their dialogue is just flowing. It's like humans. We just like to eavesdrop. So it doesn't even feel like they're acting. They're just having a great conversation and. I'm loving this. I just wanted to point that out. Who's Antoine? Tony Rocky Horror. Fell out of a window. Hmm. Hmm. He did not fall. Well, that is one way to say it. Another way to say it would be that he was thrown out. There you Another go. way it would be was he was thrown out by Marcellus because of you. There you is go. That a fact? No, I wonder no, what she thinks that. about it's it. That's what I heard. That's just what I heard. They just said that Antoine had given you a foot massage. And? And, no and nothing. That's it. Was it more than that? You heard Marcellus? Through Tony Rocky Horror out of a four-story window for giving me a foot massage? Truth is, nobody knows why Marcellus threw Tony out of that four-story window except Marcellus and Tony. Interesting. When you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. Ladies and gentlemen, now the moment you've all been waiting Sheesh. for. Now, who will be our first contestants? Right here. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. Good. All right. hey, he is full in orders, but how long till you do something Marcellus don't like? <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Why are they so serious? <laughs> I love that she's having fun though. I love that they're both having fun. Please drop her off and go home. I like you, bro. Hello? <laughs> I 
friend, they got the trophy. Please go home, my guy. Is that what you call an uncomfortable silence? <laughs> I don't know what you call that. Drinks, music. I'm gonna take a piss. Vincent, go home. Vincent, go home. One drink, and that's it. Mm -mm. Don't be rude. Drink your drink. We'll do it quickly. Say Good man. And go home. I'm rooting for you, man. Take your drink. Go home. Yeah. You see, this is a moral test of oneself, whether or not you can maintain loyalty. Being loyal is very important. Man. I mess with that because there have been times I've had that same conversation with myself in the mirror and be like, Frank, discipline, freaking go home. <laughs> freaking go home. Mind your, go home. Discipline, go home. That's real. Or is she getting comfortable? I have some predictions, but I don't want to say them. I just want to keep enjoying the movie as I go. And find out if I'm right or wrong. Walk out the door, get in the car, go home, jerk off, and that's all you're gonna do. Period. Cause the alternative might cost you your life, my guy. <sighs> Hello? Hello? All right, Mia. So listen, what I gotta go. What the heck? All right? You f oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, girl. We're getting out of here. We gotta walk now. Walk? Oh, that was a gut punch. Don't die on me, Mia. Are you going to the hospital or? They're right in front of your joint. I am. I will be forced to tell him that you did not help. Help me pick her up. Yeah, you're in it too, and it's your stuff. She's taking right. She's all dead. Get the hell out of here. Get out the fucking shot. This is freaking chaotic. Yeah, it's gonna be exactly where her shot in the heart. So I guess it's gotta. Be I don't know exactly where her heart is. It's going to the heart. God have mercy. So what are they giving her heart? Right. Hurry up, man. Okay, hurry up. Here, I'll tell you what to do. Look, you brought her here, and that means that you're gonna give her the shot. Give her the shot. Give it here. Dude, is she gonna survive this at all? I, I gotta stab her three times. No, you don't stab her three times. You gotta stab her once, but it's gotta be hard. Oh, this her is. Her plate into her heart. She's supposed to come out of it like that. It's. All right. Really? Count to three. All right. Ready? One. Oh my God. Hello. Two. She's excited to watch. Bro, it's just hanging off her chest. Something. That was heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, man. Girl, you look like a ghost. That was one way to end the night. Christ. Yeah, that's some of the downsides of, Me. you know. Me. I can keep a secret if you can. <laughs> he just saved your life. That was right. wild. Cool. See you around. Don't do drugs again, please. My guy must be relieved because he almost died. <laughs> he almost died. I doubt that was the last time they would meet each other. This watch I got here it was first purchased by your great grandfather. During the First World War. Mm -hmm. Three days later, your granddad was dead, but Wanaki kept his word. After the war was over, <laughs> my boy is just listening to quietly. Delivering to your infant father his dad's gold watch. I never saw the watch. Confiscated, taken away. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. You'd be right. damned if any slope's gonna put the greasy yellow hands on his boy's birthright. So he hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years he wore this watch. You know what? Throughout this beautiful story he's been telling, 
in the back of my mind, I'm like, based on how effed up this movie is, this story has to take a turn one way or the other. <laughs> And and bo and behold, yes, a perfect hiding place for it in in his bum. What a man. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Then after seven years, I was sent home to my family. Little man, I gave the watch to you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what a story. Was he the little kid? I'm calling it. I don't think Butch is going to take the dive. The gold watch. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's already gone. He's already gone. Yeah, they're coming for his ass now. Pause. Mm. If Butch goes to Indochina, I want and a bowl of rice ready to pop a cap in his ass. <laughs> we'll take care of it. That's cold, bro. Like, yeah. Like, this movie, like, it subverts your expectations, but in the way you don't expect. Not only did he not take a dive, he freaking beat his opponent to death. What? <laughs> la la. All right, Scotty. Next time I see you, we'll be on Tennessee time. Cool, brother. You're not gonna make it out there, are you? Mm -mm. Cause Pitt and Vincent, <laughs> they'll probably come for you. Right on your face, you couldn't breathe. <laughs> man, they're gonna come for them, aren't they? For a man who just killed another man, you're cooling right now. Oh, I just remember, we haven't seen like Samuel L. Jackson's character in a long time. And I thought he was like a prominent feature in the movie. Well, I guess the way this movie is constructed, like each section, like focus on like different people. Yeah, it's focusing on them now. I'm gonna order a big plate of blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. Mm, that sounds good. Eggs over easy and five sausages. Anything to drink with that? Ah, OJ? Nice. A tall glass of orange juice. Come on, man. Black cup of coffee. Never go wrong After with that, OJ. Have a slice of pie. Where's my watch? Oh. Yeah, he was a kid. It's there. What's that? Uh oh. It's my father's fucking watch. Do you have any idea what he had to go through to get me that watch? Up in his bum. I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. I believe so. You believe so? What does that mean? You either did or you didn't get it. Yikes. No! Yikes, bro, relax. So I gotta go back to my apartment and mm. get my watch. And that's how they get him. Just be looking for you there. Well, that's what I'm gonna find out. Yep, this is how you die. <laughs> Which, I mean, is, is pretty wholesome and lovely that he'll risk his life to go get his father's watch. Because, you know, it's gone down generation to generation, you know? But then again, they might not expect him to come back to the same spot. So maybe this might work out for him. Guess we'll just have to find out. They probably already ransacked the whole apartment too. Ooh, what if they got the watch? Um, I bet he doesn't have a gun or anything. Get the heck out of there. Why are you still in there? If anything happened to you at this point, it's on you, my guy. Because you should have been out of here by now. You're not alone, my boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Is Vincent? No! Poor Vincent, man. Ah, man. I don't think Vincent was alone, though, but. 
That was so sudden too, like... Man, he's really gonna walk away from this. That's two men he's killed now. Two whole men. Well, I guess one is manslaughter, but... Oh, hell no. What are the f What are the odds? What are the odds? Are you kidding me? What are the odds that you see this man in a crosswalk? I'll be damned. <laughs> Everybody. It wasn't going to be that easy. Oh my gosh. What the heck? This movie is wild. <laughs> what is this film? <laughs> They're killing the cops? Zed. Maynard. Yeah, the spider just killed a couple of flies. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. What the heck? What the heck is going on here? I thought he was calling the cops or something, but... Spider has caught a couple of flies. Is this some kind of sex dungeon or something? Nobody kills anybody in my place of business at Mir Zayed. So why you bring them to your freaking basement? Zed. I wonder who the heck Zed is. He's gonna shoot that one. Is that right? You gonna shoot him, boy? Zed is a cop? Mm. What in the world is going on here? Bring out the gimp. Gimp? This movie just keeps... <laughs> surprising me. Is it like an animal or something? These gags are not it at all. What in the... They had him in a box? his deal in the all black wow so not just kidnapping but like essay as well that was messed up that is so messed up yeah Let's go, free at last. Are you gonna go save him? Oh no, he's out of there. Under the shop too. Of course they got a confederate flag. Come on bro, go save him bro. Come on, go save him. You can't let this sick get away with that. Hell yeah. What's two more people to kill? Uh, he, he had a shotgun there. Even better. Hi, the or. Did you find something better? Come on now. That'll leave a mark. 
Come on, hurry up, man. God knows what they're doing to him down there. And I'm about to be a rough sight. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah, cop, come get yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want that gun, don't you, Zed? Go ahead and pick it up. For real. Slash him the F up. Step aside, book. Yep. Okay. No, nah, man. He ain't. I'm pretty f far from okay. <laughs> this is brutal. What now? Good question. Let me tell you what now. Go to work on the homes here with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. Let's go. I ain't through with you by damn sight. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. <laughs> medieval. Payback's a bitch, man. I mean, what now between me and you? I mean, you saved him, so he's straight. Oh, that wasn't now. There is no me in you. Yeah, we cool. Yeah. I'm glad he. Two things. I'm glad he came back to save him. And when you're gone, you stay gone. <laughs> that was his plan. Gone. That was his you plan the whole time. Privileges, deal. Yeah. Get your ass out of here. Oh, you're gonna suffer, my guy. <laughs> you're gonna suffer. Walked out of there like nothing happened. <laughs> Let's go. Take Grace for a ride. <laughs> Whose motorcycle is this? It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed's. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> Man, these 90s movies are different. Been watching a whole lot of them. Uh, does this mean uh, we get to see Vincent alive again? Cause that's sad, man. Vincent, he was one of my favorites. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin! <laughs> I'd knock that <laughs> if I was you. Nah, you. Did he miss? Were they blanks? <laughs> <laughs> this fool missed every shot. <laughs> this movie just leaves me speechless every time. Dead, man. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? <laughs> there he goes talking again. What just happened here was a miracle. Chill, Jules, <laughs> this shit happens. Wrong, wrong. This shit doesn't just happen. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to acknowledge it. <laughs> All right, it was a miracle. Can we go now? I always love how serious they are with all these conversations. Look, I'm telling my sellers today. I'm through. Well, why don't you tell them at the same time why? Don't worry, I will. Yeah, and I bet you $10,000 he lasts his ass off. I don't give a damn if he does. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped him? Oh, oh, what the f oh, in the house, man? Bitch. Man, hey. why the f do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it was an accident. What are you gonna do, man? Because I ain't got no other partners in 818. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, yo, how you doing, man? It's Jewel. Me and my home this is one random my movie, movie man. Car, we gotta get off the road pronto. I need to use your garage for a couple hours. Find my hands. Well, you're supposed to wash them first. Well, you wash me, wash them. I watched you get them wet. I was washing them. <laughs> this is your time to get off. <laughs> man, they gotta be best friends. When I finish the towel, it looked like no goddamn maxi pad. You know I respect you and all, but just don't put me in this position, all right? All right. This movie's so random. This some serious going maze shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some. <laughs> Is that Tarantino? Right. <laughs> Nice brings this serious going maze shit on us. Mm. What flavor is this? Knock it off, Chile. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the d in my garage. Oh, hmm. Jimmy, don't even worry well, no, about no, no, it. Wait a minute, don't think about anything. I want to ask you a question. When you came pulling in here, did you notice a sign out in the front of my house that said? D Jimmy, you know I ain't seen no shit. Did you notice a sign in the front of my house that said dead 
storage. Yikes. No. All right, no marriage counseling, no trial separation. I'm gonna get divorced, okay? And I don't want to get divorced. That's your biggest issue right now, and getting you know, divorced. True. Vincent. Poor Vincent, man. Well, not poor Vincent. You just shot someone in the head. <laughs> Like, I like you, but you all are freaking criminals and out of pocket. Which, if you do what I say, when I say it, should be plenty. Now, you got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Please <laughs> would be nice. Come again? I said a please would be nice. Get it straight, Buster. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Self-preservation is an instant you possess. You better do it and do it quick. Tell him. to help. If my help's not appreciated... Lots of luck, gentlemen. No, 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 Mr. Wolf. It ain't like that. Your help is definitely Mr. appreciated. Mr. Wolf, I just don't like people barking orders at me. That's all. If I'm curt with you, it's because time is a factor. I'm fast, I talk fast, and I need you guys to act fast if you want to get out of this. Don't be looking at me like that, all right? I can feel your look. <laughs> I'm glad we still got a little bit of Vincent. Well, I'm a mushroom cloud laying... Every time my fingers touch brain, I'm super fly TNT. I'm the guns of the Navarone. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing in the back? This should be on brain detail. I'm washing the windows and you picking up the. <laughs> I can't believe this is the same car. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. <laughs> phase one is complete. Clean the car, which moves us right along to phase two. I'm just laughing, y'all, because this is just. At this point, this movie is just straight comedy. Here it comes. God damn it. What a fucking cold. Yo, Better yo, you yo. than me, gentlemen. <laughs> They're enjoying this. Yeah, this movie is definitely a comedy. Oh, that's how they ended up in those shirts and underwear. What do they look like, Jimmy? Dorks. They look like a couple of dorks. Ha ha ha. You're a fucker. Come on, gentlemen. Why don't we go for some breakfast? Do you like having breakfast with me? Cool. Is that a spot from the beginning? And they just act like nothing happened. Like their day was just normal. Are you Jewish? No, I ain't Jewish. I just don't dig on swine, that's all. <laughs> I don't dig on swine. Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat dog either. Yeah, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. So by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, it ceased to be a filthy animal. Well, we have to be talking about one ch fucking pig. <laughs> yeah, ten times more charming than that arm on green acres, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Again, the way they dive into these conversations are like, it's just wholesome to watch. But <laughs> not what we experienced was an according to Hoyle miracle is insignificant. What is significant is I felt the touch of God. Mm. God got involved. But why? I mean, I don't know why, but I can't go back to sleep. Are you serious? You He's done. I quit. The life? Yeah. Most definitely. What's she gonna do then? Basically, I'm just gonna walk the earth. What you mean, walk the earth? You know, like Kane in Kung Fu. Walk from place to place, meet people, get in adventures. Again, I can just listen to them talk for hours. Like. <laughs> Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Gossip! <laughs> yep. Coffee. It's the same restaurant. This morning, man, I agree. It was peculiar. If my answers frighten you, Vincent, then you should cease asking scary questions. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shit. And you can just tell they love each other, but the yeah, way they talk to each other sometimes when did you is like. Make this decision when you were sitting there eating that muffin. Yeah, when I had what alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how the whole thing connects. Over there on the counter <laughs> She's freaking chasing them. What the hell? <laughs> Both of them, they're just a joke. My guy's taking it. <laughs> oh, there's the book he was reading when he got shot. Poor guy. This is not gonna end well for them, is it? Yep. In the bag. Not gonna end well at all. In the bag. You should have just kept it moving, my guy. You're about to mess with the wrong one. It's in the case. 
My boss is dirty laundry. Boss makes you do his laundry? When he wants it clean. So I'm in the face. I hate to shatter your ego, but this ain't the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. Stop causing problems. You'll get us all killed. Give him what you got and get him out of here. Shut the f up, fat man. This ain't none of your goddamn business. <laughs> hey, yo. No problem. I got it under control. Do you? Why is it glowing? What the heck is in there? Is that what I think it is? Mm -hmm. Is it gold or something? <laughs> oh God! Told you you messed with the wrong you one. Let him go. Yolanda, I thought you were gonna be cool. And when you yell at me, it makes me nervous. When I get nervous, I get scared. And when <laughs> get scared, that's when <laughs> was accidentally get shot. Now Yolanda, be cool, man. Situation. But you happen to pull this shit while I'm in a transitional period and I don't want to kill you. <laughs> transitional I can't period. Give you this case. It's cool, baby. It's cool. We still just talking. Come on, point the gun at you. Yolanda, me. get down point from the there. There you go. <laughs> it's almost over. Tell her you're proud of me. Love you, honey bunny. I love you. <laughs> now, I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> The one that says bad. That's he wasn't playing. Open it up. Take out the money. You see, I'm in a transitional period right now. You put it in your pocket. It's yours. Wow. I'm giving you that money so I don't have to kill your ass. That's so cool. The Bible Ringo. Ezekiel 25, 17. The same passage. <laughs> the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. My man spitting bars always. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger, though I've been saying that shit for years. If you heard it, that meant your ass. <laughs> I never gave much thought to what it meant. I just thought it was some cold-blooded shit to say to a <laughs> before I popped a cap in his ass. <laughs> it was. It made me think twice. You're the righteous man, and I'm the shepherd. And it's the world that's evil and selfish. And I'd like that. I like those interpretations. The truth. the truth is, you're the weak, and I am the tyranny of evil men. Mm. But I'm trying, Ringo. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. I love this philosophy. Go. That was like a whole therapy visit right there. Kept it in his muffin. <laughs> I think we should be leaving now. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> this movie cold as fuck. <laughs> Interesting. So this is Pulp Fiction. Definitely different from everything I've been doing so far. But I think it was worth the watch. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, I've definitely made up my mind. Uh, this movie was a comedy. I've seen other Quentin Tarantino movies, but like this one, I think it's one of the oldest one I've seen. It's really good. I, this reaction was kind of hard for me to do because like I didn't have a lot to say. Um, it's going to seem like I had a lot to say because of how I will edit the video, but I could just listen to their conversations forever ever like every single character obviously there was a lot of dark stuff that happened in this movie but overall <laughs> i liked it it's like a action comedy genre uh good movie not my cup of tea on a good day but it was a very enjoyable watch uh thank you guys for watching i will see you on the next video <laughs>